Welcome back to the expedition. This week we'll be heading back to Europe and to one of the most popular parts in the world, Efteling. If you haven't already, I recommend watching our short video on the history of Efteling before diving into this episode. This week we'll be looking at the most expensive ride ever built inside the park, Symbolica Palace of Fantasy. Symbolica is a trackless dark ride that opened on the 1st of July 2017 for an estimated 35 million euros, the most expensive by far in the park's long history. The ride is built in the centre of the park in an elaborate palace that takes riders on a journey down three potential paths of the palace in preparation of audience with King Pardulfus. <laughs> 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 However, Efteling's jester mascot, Pardos, takes visitors on a tour through the hidden sections of the castle instead. We will look more deeply at the ride story and the multiple different paths throughout, but first we will look at the ride's inception and how it was almost called a different name. Efteling had historically based a lot of its rides around classic fairy tales, however back in the 90s, Efteling designers wanted to create a character unique to the park. Henry Knut created Pardos, a jester character that would be used as a mascot and for merchandise over the coming years. A whole backstory and supporting characters were created to support the fantasy idea of Pardos, noting that the new character was from the planet Symbolica. A ride was rumoured numerous times throughout the 90s and early 2000s involving these characters, but they never came to fruition. When Knut retired from designing at Efteling in the early 2000s, he left behind a detailed style guide that showcased more inhabitants of the planet Symbolica, and would be pivotal at finally bringing some of his creations to life via a ride within the park. In 2010, a large multi-scale project began to finally utilise the characters from Symbolica. The new rumour was that the ride would be called Hartenhof or Court of Hearts, which I can actually pronounce, and it would transform the centre of the Efteling Park. The attraction was to be open on the 60th anniversary of the park in 2012. It would be based around the park's mascot Pardos, and the theme would be similar to the currently open Pancake Restaurant within the park. As it got closer to 2012, it looked more and more likely that the ride would not be ready on time, as construction had not begun with the ride being delayed until 2013. Construction never began, and news fell silent until 2015. The ride returned with a new name, Symbolica, which has been deemed more internationally friendly and was reported to be a trackless dark ride, with the ride system being supplied by ETF Ride Systems. ETF are behind Disney's Toy Story Midway Mania attractions, as well as rides at Fantasialand in Germany. The famous Ghana Holt Productions, known for its animatronics, were approached to create 10 animatronics for the ride, including the main character, Pardos. The ride would be highly detailed, highly elaborate, and the most expensive ever in the park. It was officially announced in January 2016 that Symbolica, the Palace of Fantasy, would be open the following year in time for the park's 65th anniversary, just five years after a ride was initially due to be open to coincide with the 60th anniversary. As the impressive palace was constructed in the centre of the park, more details and artwork were released and excitement among the park's fans were high. Efteling produced a series of teasers and behind the scenes looks to increase guest anticipation. The final building would be 40,000 square feet and that would be covered by solar panels and outlined by a rooftop garden. Opening on the 1st of July 2017, the 7 minute long ride was an absolute hit with guests. The ride would feature 6 person ride vehicles themed to wooden sleighs that follow Follow predetermined paths that can travel in and out of dead ends, move forwards, backwards, rotate, and even overtake other vehicles on the route. The ride storyline would be that Symbolica's king invited his royal subjects on a guided tour of the Palace of Fantasy. The king's servant welcomes visitors in the reception hall with a long list of rules to follow on the tour, but Pardos hijacks the tour and takes visitors through the secret corridors and magical rooms of the palace. 
The ride features elaborate sets, numerous animatronics, and a grand ballroom finale. The riders can select one of three different routes, the Hero Tour, the Music Tour, and the Treasure Tour. The castle in total consists of 11 different scenes, with each route chosen visiting 9 out of the 11 scenes. Some of the scenes that can be visited are an observatory, a botanica garden, a treasure boudoir, music lounge, royal hall, and a gallery of the imaginers. The different ride vehicles will reunite for the final scene in which they will dance in the ballroom finale. The ride vehicles also feature an interactive touchscreen for the front row only which can be used for mini games throughout the ride. The custom score created for the ride was recorded by a symphony orchestra in Belgium and continues the tradition of Efteling being known for its beautiful music. Efteling has a very loyal fan base and locals are very proud of their beautiful park. Guests often say that Symbolica is better than any Disney dark ride and potentially exceeds the quality of any dark ride in the world. It is great to see a park using its own characters and ideas for dark rides without the need of a big franchise to back it up. The Have you ridden Symbolica? How does it compare to other dark rides in the world for you? Let us know in the comments below and we will see you next time.